Well, I just uh, got my Arduino Nano from eBay, and I'm already doing stuff with it. Uh, I connected my encoder quadrature uh, converter that I brought from Mexico, um, connected to a Hayden Hein incremental encoder um, with. Uh, 2500 pulses per revolution and um, this time I wanted to do something different because I intend to uh, use Modbus to communicate with devices so um, instead of using ASCII serial communication which is not very standardized way of communicating you can have a lot of devices using Modbus like a uh, modicum PLC or a variable frequency drive, stuff like that. Uh, I can connect this to a PLC and have the PLC request uh, the status of the encoder, which is what I'm about to show you here. So right now the Arduino Nano is connected to uh, the USB port and it's now emulating a serial port, which is number two. And I can show you that here. Uh, here on the serial ports, the Arduino is serial port number two. And I downloaded the uh, Modbus Slave library from the internet, installed it in Arduino. And using the um, register, holding register read. And in this case, I set the slave address as um, number one here. I guess it's got to scroll down a little bit on the sketch. This is the, uh, the slave address right here a little bit below that actually it's right here that is still slave address ID this is slave number one so the master is address zero well the master has no address just the late the slaves have address so um now it's taking 15 uh, output bits and 16 input bits, I guess, no, just 8. And then it's also taking about 10 holding registers for input holding registers and um, 20 output holding registers. And I just added that to my encoder. Uh, sketch that uses uh, interrupt driven inputs on the Arduino. So the Arduino Nano is virtually the same as the Arduino Uno but with a uh, much smaller uh, footprint size. So you can actually see this pretty tiny, it's almost as big as a microchip. So it's really small and you can plug it into a board um, so like for example I got here the uh, controllers I brought from Mexico and just the, Ar the Arduino Nano is as big as this uh, microchip pick this is an 16F8777 with a um, RS232 max converter chip so it's they're pretty affordable. I think this cost me like, uh, including the cable and the shipping cost, like uh, actually shipping was free. I think it cost me somewhere around four dollars. But you can get even a uh, good bargain. You can buy a whole bunch and get them really cheap uh, from eBay. So I already downloaded this to uh, the Arduino. And I also downloaded something that's called a Modbus Tester. 
which is a free application you can download from the internet which allows you to uh, read data from the slaves you cannot write data on it but you can read uh, slave information from it so it's normal settings you set the battle rate, com port, all that normal, you said it want to be RTU or TCP IP uh, next I'm going to try communicating over uh, TCP IP uh, using the Arduino Uno that I'm waiting for, bit, for it to be delivered um, right now it's uh, it's connected see here you gotta connect and disconnect and what I'm doing here is I'm reading the, the count pulses from the encoder so for instance uh, the encoder shaft has got a little uh, indentation mark have you guys can see it it's like um, pretty tiny uh, right here so you can try to align it with the other markers right here so you can try and turn the shaft a little bit try to align it and then on the Arduino I'm using uh, pin 12 as a zeroing uh, input so I just press this and see right now the the, the Modbus tester is pulling the information from the Arduino uh, Modbus slave every half a second I get an update here so I'm gonna press that little button there and that should be set to the maximum count of the encoder which is 2500 there and if I turn on the encoder I should see the value increasing there so no matter which way you turn so now the encoder was referenced so it will subtract there you got I gotta correct the code there cuz um, I think I did it with the other encoder but it's counting up and subtracting so the model is slave it seems to be responding well of course the encoder is it's a very high resolution encoder so any slight movement causes the shaft to jump like 20 counts but that's not the goal here the goal is I can add this to a Modbus RTU network let me show you uh, pretty much like this um, these are my notes here you can have a master uh, pulling all the other uh, slaves on the network and you can uh, get the status from them pretty much like this you can have the, uh, all the um, Modbus slaves of course connected through a uh, little uh, 45 from TTL 45 um, Modbus converter drivers and then have your computer connected to the network one of these uh, USB to RS485 converter and then gather information from this you can have a PLC also set as, as a slave and you can have information being pulled from all of this into a SCADA or you can have a PLC pulling information from these guys like you have an encoder and you can have like an axis using a motor and pulling the information of that through the Modbus network so um, but this is all open source and the Arduino and the level converters are really cheap so this is what I'm at right now of course I'm not back home where I have my workshop here I just got a pretty small setup just experimenting about all my boards and basically I'm learning about Modbus and how easy it is to set it up on an Arduino platform and uh, I'll let you guys know where I'm at 
I wish I had my modicum PLC with me so I can connect this to the modicum and um, then have them both talk to each other share information between the, the both of them and well that let you know right now this is where I'm at All in a while, just to say it uh, thank you for watching and see you next time bye